this is Chris Menard. Let me show you how to print the header row or the titles on every page when you print. So I'm going to put a page break at row 13, which means it'll put it between 12 and 13. Make sure on the page layout tab, click the word breaks, insert page break. There's a line going between 12 and 13. I'm going to do one more. Go to file print. I should have a total of three pages, one of three. But the problem is, here's my header row. Go to the next page and it will not be there. A couple ways to fix it. Here's one of the easiest. Back on page layout, print titles, rows to repeat at top. You just simply click on the row that's your header row. Click on print preview from here. Still have three pages. Page one's perfect. Page 2 has the header row at the top, and so does page 3. Let me go ahead and tell you one other little item here. Another way to get here is hit Page Setup right here. When it comes to page breaks, if by chance you have Fit 1 to 1 selected, it'll always do one by one. You will not get your page breaks. So I'm going to leave it right here. Click OK and go back. Let's remove all the page breaks. So I'm going to hit Breaks. Reset all. I want every state to be on a page by itself, so I'm going to sort by state. California, Connecticut, Illinois. I'm going to go to the data tab at the top. Subtotals over in the far right. At each change in, you make sure it says state. It's whatever you just sorted by. Count is okay. Household type. By default, this box will not be checked page break between groups, check it, click OK. So now every state should be on a page by itself. File, print, go to page setup just because it says 18. Let's go make it 85%. Now it's down to 9, but I'm seeing everything. Household type was the last field. There's California. Connecticut only had one customer, Illinois, on and on. It's working. If you want to turn that feature off, back on the data tab, subtotals, remove all.